Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share and review my experience of this Fluence AI61 Active Stand Mount Speaker with built-in DAC and amplifier all together. This speaker only serves for just under $300 for a pair of these. So this one uses the uh, six and a half inch cone base driver with the uh, one inch silk soft dome tweeter. Build quality is very decent, nicely done with uh, very much uh, comparable to uh, clips or PSB or care for any kind of those uh, brands in five six hundred dollars price range of a built quality i started on my desktop system and move it to tv system then i move to this main system i try with external deck cd player as well as bluetooth optical input as well ai61 owner's manual doesn't specify uh, internet deck spec or amplifier specification so i try that on my desk using Aries 12, you know, feeding uh, RCA signal from Aries 12 to this AI61, it sounded very good. I mean, very, very good if you feed external deck. And when I moved over to my TV rig, I try a uh, optical cable directly connected from my streaming device as well as from my TV. I try that nice and wide soundscape and sound reproduction that we can totally enjoy watching movies even with the 2.1 setup. And also I try, I blend them in with my home theater setup and it works wonderfully well. Conversation and dialogues and everything I can clearly make out and understand but it has the uh, background noise built-in DAC is not the best that you can have but you know given the price point so I'm not complaining I'm just sharing my experience and also I try with my subwoofer connected directly to this AI61 I use my own speaker cable another thing that I like to mention is the uh, it should come with a little bit longer AC power code because this speaker can be placed pretty wide like I have here like seven feet apart so if your outlet is distance away then uh, you may not be able to reach it so I use them in uh, my TV rig for like a few weeks then I move them to my main system place them like seven feet apart and a little over three feet behind the speaker since these are rear ported design the way that uh, I place them is like a 20 25 degree toe in just slight toe in not much so which can give me really wide and really deep sound stage for this size of the speaker so I tried that and then I also try every inputs all over again except for optical because I don't have any component with optical out in my channel system so I try USB input RCA input using different decks and my CD player as well as I try with Bluetooth when I try with the USB-C input directly feeding from my MacBook Pro it's a uh, pretty noisy then I stopped using it because I didn't like the way that it has a noise all over the background then uh, RCA input if you have a good quality deck or decent quality deck you will get a total reward by using external deck that is a really uh, improvement that uh, that is a really good improvement that you can hear so after that I try a Bluetooth playback directly playing from my desk on my MacBook Pro playing audio Vana with via Bluetooth to this AI61 to my surprise, the Bluetooth wireless sounded much uh, cleaner, much less noise than the USB-C input. And USB-C input may offer more, a little bit more detail and separation between the notes, but Bluetooth feature and Bluetooth input really offer really nice and rich and smooth engaging sound quality i try many different genre of music so basically uh, this ai61 is bulletproof in terms of uh, 
musicality and sound quality that you can have for this price point. I mean, less than $300, you have really nice and smooth and tonally rich sound quality, yet really wide and deep soundstage for this size of the speaker. That is probably really high point and highlight of this AI61 stand mount speakers in my opinion. Probably you will end up only using RCA input with external DAC or Bluetooth streaming with this AI61, which can really beneficial. But please keep in mind, sometimes the Bluetooth connection can be really, you know, sketchy. So you have to hit the uh, play button on the AI61 remote control for three seconds and repairing will solve the issue. So playing a lot of different music and many genre of music over Bluetooth, and what caught me by surprise is how much this AI61 is offering in terms of price and performance and sound quality ratio. So that playing Bluetooth feature something like rich and tuby like kind of sound quality. So that is a really good standout feature and standout quality that I want to mention it. Because if you are wondering if you can listen your music for hours and hours without getting ear fatigue, this could be great buy if you're going to play with Bluetooth. And if you want real high-res sound quality, you can add an external deck and you will have really good sounding you know, pairing with this AI61. For the sound quality and price that you are getting, this Fluence AI61 can give CAF LSX run for the money because it has really nice engaging tonality and tube like a rich and deep sound signature, especially when I'm playing with Bluetooth feature. So that is a really impressive sounding for my taste and my personal preference because I always love rich and engaging sound signature. And all the features, I don't have any issues or glitches working and listening with this AI61 speaker. Connectivity, very simple, straightforward. It has a fully featured remote control. You can control pretty much everything via remote control. One more thing that I like to add is that if you are looking for really high res with absolute resolution and everything, this may not be a great choice, but if you want to listen your music in engaging manner, relaxing sound, and without getting annoyed by bright sounding sound signature, this could be a great choice. Playing music via Bluetooth can only get up to like 80, 82 dB range, the loudest. Sound stage and depth and everything is very good. I have no complaint at all for that uh, sound reproduction. But if I go down to detail and nitpicking, then uh, I will love a little bit more separation in mid-range region and upper base to mid, mid uh, lower mid uh, transition area. And uh, if you are using USB-C input, right, directly from your computer, it can introduce you uh, a bit brighter sound signature in upper mid range to uh, middle of the frequency range. So that is, uh, I want you to be aware of it. Everything is as good as it can have for this price point and some other speaker like five, six hundred dollar range of a stand mount speaker, uh, active speaker, this one can give them run for their money. This Fluence AX61, I can easily recommend you to try it because I tried the speaker on my desk in this main system, which I sit like 10 feet away, and my TV rig, which I sit like 15 feet away from my TV. So even that, this one can offer me really good soundscape and really wide and spacious soundstage without 
getting into really bright sound. Another thing that I like to comment is your built-in component sound quality of this AX61, including the amplifier. For the deck wise, I like the uh, Bluetooth the best. Second is optical, and I did not like the uh, USB-C input in sound quality. It's too noisy for my taste. And uh, my favorite is using external deck feeding RCA's inputs to this AI61, just using built-in internet amplifier to play your music. So internal, the built-in class D amplifier is very good resolution and detailed sound quality, yet it has a nice and engaging tonality and polite manner in overall sound quality reproduction. But bass quality, it can get a bit boomy time to time, but to my surprise, it can go pretty deep in in-room response because I did the in-room response measurement, as you can see. You will see the uh, uh, frequency dip as in the middle of the frequency range. So that is the uh, many uh, modern uh, stand mount speaker have that kind of uh, dip and many of them because I measure it right in front of the speaker on exit by like uh, probably like 12 inches away. So that's where I measure the speakers right there on the right speaker, right? And then even like off exit uh, listening, this speaker is pretty good. Overall stereo image, pretty decent, really. It's not like a precise stereo image or anything like you can, you know, go for, but it has a good quality stereo image that I can enjoy listening to, which is pretty impressive, especially given the price and everything come with it and you will spend only $300 for a pair of these. All you need is your computer, or all you need is your phone to stream your music. And even if you have a turntable with built-in phono stage, you can easily connect to the RCA input. So that's it, my friend. That is my experience. You will hear the uh, sound sample as usual. This is the Grace Meyer track. It recorded live in Tokyo, uh, Shinjuku Dark Cafe before they closed. That track is pretty good at testing these kind of components. So that's what you will hear in sound sample. So if you are shopping for stand mount speakers around $300 to $400 price range or even under $500 for your multi-purpose uh, active speakers, I can easily recommend this AX61 for you to try it. It can give you really polite and rich and engaging sound for your music enjoyment. Very highly recommended, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.